What's up, YouTube? It's Dewey Gang, your boy Twist, back with another video, man. And as y'all know from a couple of my previous videos, um, I told you guys that I'll be starting barber school soon. And soon is like now. So I start barber school tomorrow, which is Thursday the 28th, I believe. And uh, today we're just going to go through what I got here in my kit before I start barber school. So... Um, this video, I'm just be showing you all the different type of clippers and materials and products that I got in here before I actually get my barber kit from my school. So this is just all my utensils that I bought on my own and that I've been using to cut hair so far. Um, so yeah, let's get straight into the video. But before we do that, before we do that, I think I gotta change the rag up. I'm not feeling the black right now. Hold on. So yeah, I think we're gonna rock with the red. Red with the tail up. But yeah, let's get straight into this video. Yeah, we're gonna get straight to it. Open this boy up. Uh, I got this case originally from Amazon. Um, I'll have the, the link for this exact case in the description below. So to start off, you know what I'm saying, right off the gate. I got a few towels that I use, and with these towels, you know, it's either wiping my blade off as I'm, um, you know, cutting the clients or whatever uh, it may be. Uh, this here, Topic Hair Fibers, always comes in handy when you want that crisp, crisp wine. So I got some of this here. I've been having this for a while. It lasts pretty long, depending on, you know what I'm saying, how many people you cut or whatever. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. You got this right here, the shave gel. The is that. Uh, got this from like a local beauty supply store. Uh, cost like $5. I like this one a lot just because it's the clear gel. You know what I'm saying? Gotta have a liquid razor. Comes in handy always when you want that. When you want that hair right here, against the lining to just lay down, line ain't gonna be sharp. Or a little barber pencil, as you can see, I've used this a lot. This probably lasts me, this lasts me a while though, but I use it a lot. And just put this in here, I uh, haven't opened it yet. Just some clipper oil with a clipper brush. It came with, um, I think, one of the wall clippers that I, that I got. Oh, let's see what else. I got a brush here, a two-sided brush. I usually use this um, for a client's hair. Um, if I gotta brush the hair down or whatever. So yeah, something simple that every kit should have, you know? Uh, let's see. Here. I got a couple of um couple of guards for my Andis clippers. I think it's a zero through zero through four, zero through five, something like that. Um I don't have my wall guards in here yet. Um I'm probably gonna reorganize how I got everything set up. Uh after my first day of barber school, after I get my kit. So, but yeah, I got my Andis garage right here. And then also something I just uh, put in my kit is this here. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's called Nick Relief. Uh, and this just helps like, if you accidentally nick a client or yourself with, um, you know, either the razor or trimmer or anything, you just put some of this on it and it stops the bleeding ASAP. I got some of this really for myself um, because I was nicking a mess out of myself when I was uh, using a razor. So I remember having this used on me as a kid. So I had to grab some. All right, let's see what else we got here. You got some of the Andes Bump Care. You know the label is kind of 
damaged because I had it for a while. So it's been put to good use. It's almost out. Um, and yeah, this is just like a, a aftershave type of thing that you put on like around your neck area, back of the, back of the neck, front of the neck, under the neck uh, to prevent those bumps that you might get. Let's see what else. Also got some shave gel just in case or just like the alternative for um, the clear the clear gel, I guess. Uh, I barely use this anymore, but I mean, you never know when you need it. The only blades I've ever used, the Derby blades. This is a hundred pack, but I still, I don't know. I've used a lot, still got a lot left, so. But yeah, Derby blades, good brand blades, a lot of barbers use them. You'll see a lot of barbers, you know, having this in their uh, arsenal. Here I got a spray bottle. This is uh, actually alcohol in it. So, and I use green alcohol because I think green, the green alcohol, um, it doesn't burn as much as like the, the regular clear alcohol from my experience. So I just put the green in there. Let's see what else I got in here. The and is Cool Care Plus. Uh, you know, every barber has these the cleaner pl cleaner blades. Not only clean, but like it cools down your blades. It's a lubricant, and uh, it pr it helps prevent rust. So, I mean, every barber pretty much has this in our kit. All right, let's see. Let's get to the clippers here. I definitely need to reorganize this. And these are the Andes uh, T style liners. I got these a couple years ago. I think they came out with a new pair. I might have to upgrade, but um, I just zero got these, uh, but they're not as sharp as, let's see what else I got in here. They're not as sharp as the uh, Slimline Pro Allies once I zero gapped them. These, uh, these like feel way better when I was testing them on myself. These feel way better than these do in some areas. I feel like these are, uh, you know, better for the front of the lineup. And then with these, I'd rather use on like my C cups or whatever because that's a sensitive spot for me, so. So yeah, I got those two as my main liners. Uh, got the charger for the uh, Slimline Pros here. Let's see what else I got here. These here, um, I don't even know the name of these. I just know that I brought these from Walmart a while ago. These is like one of my, I think the second Clippers. I've ever bought in my life and I just bought them from Walmart and I was being cheap and I needed something quick, easy and fast just to like, you know, cut my hair here and there. Um, but all in all, these clippers do more than I expected. The only negative I would say about this is that they get hot really, really fast. Um, yeah, but that's about it, man. Other than that, they're pretty good clipper from Walmart. They just get hot and you know, you'll have to, um, you know, transfer from using these to using a different clipper every time and keep spraying the cool care on it just because of how hot it gets. So we got those. And then kid you not, these are my first clippers as far as like hair clippers, not like liners or trimmers. It's my first clippers I ever had. Um, close friend gave them to me. Uh, shout out to Xavier, Pooh, Javier, whatever you want to call him. Y'all seen him in my last video when I went up to Oshkosh and I was cutting his hair. He he put me on with these uh, and, and they've been holding up, you know. I have no issues using these. These are Andes Clippers. I don't even know the name of these. Model MC-2, I guess, but yeah, these have been holding up. These are my first pair of Clippers ever. First pair of clippers I cut my hair with, and you know, we've been going strong. 
So I plan on upgrading all this, like leaving this and leaving these clippers and this clipper out of the arsenal once, you know, my barber school uh, supplies me with, I guess the kit that they offer, so. Oh yeah, I got down here a cut buddy. Uh, I got this a while ago, just to try it out, you know, especially like on the C cut part. I was trying it out on myself. Uh, I don't really use it anymore. Like once you get used to cutting yourself and um, just doing different lineups, you don't really need this. Uh, this is pretty much for beginners. So I had this for a while when I first started cutting my own hair. I just keep it in here just because you never know. And then got these babies right here, brand new, used probably twice. Maybe three times. The Magic Clips. I know you guys see a lot of barbers with this in their arsenal. Coreless, of course. Um, I'm trying to start going coreless more. I really like these clippers. I love these clippers. I've been seeing a lot of people using ceramic blades on these and I'm thinking about trying them out. I'm not sure yet, but all in all, these clippers are some of the best clippers out there. And then of course it comes with the, um, the charger and you can also charge it while you're cutting, which is good. So it can either be wired or wireless. And that's it for the bottom portion of my kit. Um, I don't know if you guys can see. So up here, I have a couple things. Got some, some clipper oil, of course. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. So I keep two razors. Uh, this is an exposed razor, as you can see. The whole razor is exposed here. Very light. And then this one here is my more heavier one. Equinox International. This is what I use my uh, derby blades with. This is a um, enclosed razor, so you see like the razor, the actual razor part is barely shown. Like this is the razor. The razor is under here. It's barely shown. It's more of a heavy, heavy duty clipper. So if you're heavy handed. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna put some weight on your hand, especially when you're shaving your clients. Um, here, I got a few combs. Just depends on which one I wanna use. These two are the same, and then I got one with, that goes from like small teeth to bigger teeth. Just depends on the client and which one I wanna use that day, I guess. I got a pair of scissors here. That came with, you know, I got so many scissors that comes with like the actual clippers. Doesn't make sense. So I just put one in here. Uh, the next video I'll show you guys when I have like a complete kit with um, everything like my barber school gave me. There'll probably be some shears in here. and This will probably be filled up, kid you not. Um, just based on the needs that I gotta have or whatever. Um, I got another barber pistol here. Almost like new, I think I used it like twice since I got it. And then, I got a business card here, just to do, um, you know, like the line up with, edge ups with, just in case I need to spray any topic fibers on it or whatever. And then up here, I keep my 10 second blade setter on the money. I believe I got this from Amazon as well. I'll have the link in the description for this. I think it's linked in some of my other videos too. And then the blade modifier, the one minute blade modifier here, uh, sharpens your blades with ease. Um, so I keep these tools in my kit just in case, you know, I get some brand new clippers and I feel like, you know, making them better. And then you can go ahead and twist that under this. This actually comes off. 
And I got a barber cape here. Uh, I got this barber cape from a local beauty supply store for 20 bucks. And then I also keep a mirror. Um, and as you guys can see, you know, that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, once barber school start, I'll probably have a better arsenal, better clippers, um, just a better overall kit, you know what I'm saying? So, all I gotta say is, man, appreciate you guys watching the video. The next video will be a, probably like an unboxing or some sort, that thing. Uh, once I get my kit, I go to school tomorrow. So, you guys know what I know. Stay tuned for the next video.